Welcome Spartans to Mission Debriefs 20 for 20. We've played every Halo mission, and now we're going to rank the 20 best for the 20th anniversary of the franchise. I'm your host, Colin Perkins, and I'm joined by David Arnold. Hello, everybody. Matt Salvatore. How's it going, guys? And Krista Brown. Wait, there are two Halos? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, we found another, another one. one. What? <laughs> This episode, we're playing Delta Halo, speaking of, uh, which is the sixth mission on our list, and it's technically the eighth mission in Halo 2. Remember, we got those two kind of weird missions at the beginning of the game. Uh, Last time, we played through Metropolis from Halo 2, and we gave it a... We gave it an eight. Pretty (gasps) solid. Mm. Definitely check that out if you missed it. Uh, For the full list of 20, check out our website at halopodcast.com slash 2420. While you're there, you can check out all the cool stuff we have on the site, including our shows, lore pages, articles, uh, merch, and much more. If you enjoy this series, let us know by commenting on the video, giving us a like, or subscribing. You can also support the show by visiting Podcast Evolved on Patreon. All right, here we go. Let's dive in. That's the transition noises. I did them this time. Uh, I will press Z button. All right, here we go. We're diving into Delta Halo. Ooh. The second Halo. Spooky. Two of seven. <laughs> seven <Spoiler>. of nine. <laughs> oh. Do you think this one has flood on it? No, no, there's yeah. no way. Yeah, they no. wouldn't nice... do that a second time. No. It's a good clean. The flood was just a first game thing. Yeah. They wouldn't put the zombies on this one. No, no, no. Definitely not. So unnecessary. (laughs) So just as a reminder, we'll be talking about our categories. So we have our gameplay category. We have our um, storytelling category. We have level design. And the other one that I'm forgetting about. (laughs) Story. (laughs) No, I already said story. Story, level design, gameplay, and difficulty. difficulty. Ooh, here we go. We're in the scene. Uh, blur. Beautiful, beautiful blur. Sorry for the quick jump, Sergeant. So this picks up right after Metropolis. I'm good. Mm. Yeah. Chief? We're fine. Ma'am, there's an object coming into view. Poor now. Johnson. Always oh, almost lost his cigar there. Cortana, what exactly am I looking at? These remasters are so good. Oh, I look so good. That is another halo. There it is. Say what? A what? This is what we like. <laughs> I thought Halo was some sort of super weapon. It is. If activated, this ring will cause destruction on a galactic scale. I want all the information you've got on the first Halo. Keys and gets credited with the discovery whatever. of Halo when he really did nothing. It was all Cortana. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Right. True. The <laughs> so this is what my... No, it was Cortana. Perfect. Actually, technically, your mother found it, right? Instead of your father. Well, kind of, yeah. Yeah. It was a tag team effort. Mm -hmm. All in the family. All in the family, right? Aye, aye, ma'am. Just pops out of his drop pod. Understood. Over the target in five. It's the easiest anyone's ever gotten out of a drop pod. (laughs) Right. And Chief, doesn't, Chief doesn't even really need a drop pod. He's just like, whatever, this is baby shit. I thought this was so cool, though. That's such a cool concept. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> because last time we landed on the Halo, it went so well. <laughs> Mind the bump. Well, the parachute is metal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love the little plushies. Did he have a toy? Yeah. Yeah. Cheap plushie. You can find them. They're like collectibles in the game. They're in crazy places. Oh. That's why I haven't gotten them. I'm too lazy. I'm like, ah. Uh, I could do that. I went for a lot. I went for a lot. Can possibly make any more noise? I guess there so. There we go. <laughs> Classic. Beautiful. Hello, everyone. All right. We made it into the jungle. Boots on the ground. How did they know mm. we were here? Thought we Give were me one so SMG to start off is terrible, though. Covenant always beat us here. 
Who is there first? Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a rocket's lock on. Yeah, I always forget so, that. So, are these ruins human ruins? Ooh, um, interesting. On Delta Halo? I'm not sure. I'm not sure there was a human colony on Delta Halo that we knew of. But they're not forerunner -y. I guess it could be another race, but. Or the forerunners could have made it to look that way just so that it didn't freak out whoever was there. <laughs> sure. They did hide another race on here or something. Look, I never even taught it up before. There you go, look at the battles. I know, the best gun. Kid. It really is. There's a map on Halo 5 that has the battle rifle, Halo 2 battle rifle. It is awesome. Oh, yes. Every time I get that, I'm just like, yes, the good battle rifle. <laughs> I appreciate the design so much more than the new one, to be honest. Oh my god, Krista, what are you doing? I don't know, what am I doing? You don't like the beam rifle? I hate the beam rifle. What the f- it punches hard. Alright, I gave my ODST the uh, last round of the bazooka, so now he has infinite Oh, bazooka. that's clever. Nice, I love doing that. Oh, yeah. uh, and he just fucking blew himself up too, good job. Did he? Yeah, he just did. Oh, come on. <laughs> there oh, he is! <laughs> okay, he biscuit. shot directly into do a wall. This well, is why you're not you nice to AIs. Better. This is why I killed them. That exact reason. You got three rockets out of it though, Princess, so that's not too bad. Uh, you try to help some people. Yeah, that's why you're not nice to people. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I mean, from playing Metropolis last to this mission, it just shows you the, the variety of the levels. I think it's crazy what they did in this game. Yeah, I love the um, I love the playlist you can do, which is just the chief levels from Halo 2. I need to Because they're all that. great. I need to go and they just the they flow real nice into each other, just following his story. I agree. Another phantom on approach. And then look up at the Halo 2 when you get a chance. It's, it's there. Yeah, there it is. I don't notice it that much on this mission. No, it's kind of foggy. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's really yeah. Can you bounce to the other, uh, other graphics too? Oh yeah. Oh boy. Rusty. Yowzers. For its time, it was good. I know, but it's crusty now. Old and crusty. Look at these OP phantoms with their. I know three with the cannons. three guns. <laughs> <Fuck me. laughs> I like how they also just like poop out the people instead of landing, <laughs> they just poop them right out. <laughs> <laughs> the droppings, the covenant droppings. Yeah. yeah. Literally, yeah, yeah. We're losing altitude, lose some weight. They just fly down so gracefully. Ah, uh, the needler. You can dual wield them. Dual it. Yeah, right. Get him, Krista, get him. He's dead. Oh my god, he did like a backstroke. Awesome. Oh. Is the Needler the only Covenant weapon that doesn't overheat? Um. Is it the Carbine? Carbine. No, the Carbine, too. yeah. Yep. Speaking right, because the other carbine. ones are like batteries, and then the needler and the carbine are ammo. And brute shot, I kind of brute think. shot. Mm, yeah. Brute shot, yeah. The well, the brute weapons like the spiker. Yeah. Well, the, the there's a brute plasma rifle, you know, the red one that overheats faster but is stronger. Yeah, you don't get that until the brutes take over, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it what's the best? Overheat. What's the best covenant weapon that overheats? Is it the rifle? The... Oh yeah, the beam rifle, definitely. 
I might even Gotta say the pistol. Because I find the pistol actually the useful with its Blake. shield, takedowns, and EMP. Well, I'm thinking yeah. the plasma rifle is what I was thinking. I, that get the really, I, fire. I almost never use it. Right. Of all the Covenant weapons, I think I like the most. Probably the beam like rifle. The yeah. I like using the plasma rifle if I have, if I dual wield it with something else, not two plasma rifles. Like, I'll do like I plasma can't dual rifle, wield two spiker. Weapons. It hurts my brain. So is, who's in this one? Is is Johnson in that? Uh, I don't know, actually. He's, a, he, he's I think he's talking to you at some stage here, isn't he? He, talk to you he makes like, it down to the surface, right? Watch these pelicans just randomly crash. <laughs> Oh, Chris, I was going to try to get him in. <laughs> They're still mm -hmm. alive. Wait, okay, where's the ODST? We'll pick him up. Dive it out of the way. Oh, fine. We'll take you. I'm one of the ODSTs. You stinky marine. All right. This is going to get low, bro. Wee! You're, no, you're denting it. it. <laughs> we just got this, damn it. Remember, oh, they blow up now. Oh, that's down. right. Oh, Jack is not amazing. I hate you. Fuck. Oh. I'm having, I'm having some major flashbacks. Did you just roll off the cliff? Yeah. yeah. Good. I love it. <laughs> they like exaggerate their oh role. <laughs> I meant to do that. That was, was very well done. That's great. Mm. Oh, Someone's getting blown up here. I have a feeling. Alright, do we ghost it? Or do you He's say going on. Watch out, Chief. Wraith's on the far side. <laughs> Just to see. Just to see how bad we do, yeah. You are at your own risk. <laughs> Jeez. I haven't driven a Warhawk. Oh, there's a Wraith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was died. I better hightail it. Haul ass. Haul ass. I'm just gonna get his button, right? Yeah, I guess I'll go with the button. I'll park you right here. Oh, perfect, right in front of the train. I appreciate oh, that. Yeah, that's a great parking <laughs> job. Well, I was trying to avoid the raid thing. Cause you don't want, you don't want to be in front of the building. Bro, that guy's taking a lot of shots. All right. All right. Have I'll fun. be back. Hopefully. Ow, I'll do so it, Krista. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Green. Green means oh go. God. Green means go, yeah. The light is green. There's way more ghosts there than there needs to be. They're compensating. Oh. Hey, there's a... Uh... Is this regret in here? Or it looks like mercy, to be honest. Yeah, Mercy's got the. Wait, 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 who did you follow? It's Regret. I thought you followed him yeah. here. Regret. Yeah. He's, he's just the way the blue lighting. I'm like Mercy's blue, but it's because he's uh, in a hologram. Well, Regret's the one that's in the hologram in the beginning. Yeah, there's a hologram in there though. Yeah. Look at her windshield. Oh, do we get a tank? Uh, I think we can later. Right here. Oh, it's oh, right. Do you want the tank? Uh, thank you. You're gonna need it. Uh, we also have a perfectly good cruising that I decided not to. <laughs> if you leave the tank, Cortana goes, You don't want the tank? Oh, really? Yeah. We want to make Cortana mad? You need the tank. Yes, I mean, it's a good idea. It's a motivational device. You can have it, Krista. Okay. I'll stop killing the birds. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so kick fun. This bird. No, no, wait, no, Marine. Hey, oh my gosh, these AIs, I swear. I mean, oh, they blow themselves just up, waiting so. for you over there. Did they, did they come over eventually? I don't think they do. That would make it much more difficult. Come on, oh, thank you. Now it, I know. now, ballsy. Smooth, yeah. 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 There's a Banshee's coming at now, don't they? If you hang around there, I think long enough, the Banshee's will be in. Mm -hmm. well, I'm, not stay I'm not staying that long. I'm out of here. Oh no, you're burning rubber. Of course. 
<laughs> it really is. He, uh... Oh, shoot. That guy survived? Um... The Scorpion tank in Halo 2 is super fast. For a yeah, tank. Yeah, it is, actually. For a tank, right. Yeah, for a tank. That's true. I guess I'll go down the bottom way. The lights look so cool from the Warthog. In the dark, dark areas. Ah. I love how they give you options here. Hi, low. Oh, oh my god. To explore. Christy, you are not oh, boy. doing well. I'm Planet. doing great. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ignore the thing. Well, where's Matt? He's just... I'm behind. I You don't get in front of a square from the thing. That's just the number one word. <laughs> Look, the fire adds a uh, character, okay? It's like the flame skull. You're yeah. ghost riding now. Yeah, it looks super cool. 100% Look at me. flame frail. They flame way before it's time to get out. We gotta crawl through a lot of caverns here. Okay. I'm coming straight through. Do not, do not shoot me. I'll try not to. Are you the? You're the uh, green. I'm one, the flaming right? warthog. Are you sure? You're not the purple. <laughs> Purple, I got the I guy. got the flaming motif going on. We both got the flaming motif going on. We're looking cool. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's definitely a skull. <laughs> Team colors. <laughs> it, does annoy, it does annoy me when ghosts don't blow up with one tank shot. I yeah. really think they should. They should pop. And even if they don't, it should it should kill the driver. Because you just got hit with a tank shot. I don't care. It goes. The whiplash. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else. Gotta break your neck. Snap your neck. The debris should rip you apart. Right. Oh, yeah. Jump it. Oh, he'll jump. <laughs> Some I know. Kind of the... <laughs> Alright. We got it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta do this. Jeez, that. Fire. That ghost did survive. I don't know how you're surviving as long as you are. What do you mean? I was like in the back, no one heard me. You should have started the ghost count. It's like, it was like a million of them. 30. I don't think they stop. They might be infinite spawns, though. You know how early oh. games like they You gotta push forward. Yeah. I feel like Halo doesn't do a lot of that. Do, like, in the early fine. games, they did. Not anymore. That was one of the reasons I like Halo over uh, Call of Duty. Oh, dude, Oops, infinite, infinite spot points. We just yeah, just the worst. I don't know how you're still alive, though, Krista. What do you mean? I'm a, I'm an expert. I work well under pressure. <laughs> Careful, we're coming up on another structure. Ah, oh, they're so good though. Ooh, what? Focused. I have no idea why that marine is shooting you. What did I do? I don't what know. if I done I to anger the marine? <laughs> Why are they doing I wonder, this to I me? What? I don't know. They're not helping at all. They're doing they the opposite. They watched the first two episodes. Yeah, oh, probably. Okay, yeah. They know. I, that. Oh, no. it's okay. I killed a lot of their friends <laughs> for fun, for the meme. The meme. Hmm, <laughs> press not to work. Another one uh, thank you. Oh my god. Sir. The jackal's gonna get you, Chris. Gonna get you. <laughs> yes, a lone jackal. It's my only weakness. <laughs> I love this, the ruin structure. It's so good. Call area, yeah, I love this. It feels like a little multiplayer map area. Yeah, for sure. I'm kind of shocked it wasn't turned into one. Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks nice. Maybe they could, maybe they considered it. And just didn't end up it yeah. Careful, the pelican drops canisters, and it usually ends up killing you if you're. Oh yeah. Not, if you're there. So, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Just crawling something. over those shields. Oh. <laughs> oh no. You gotta make it. You gotta make it. <laughs> 
Pelican inbound. Let's clear a landing zone. Just go for the version of the ball zone. I like how you drew them out. Yeah. I know. Right? Yeah, I'm legendary. Some, those, guys are, those guys are rough. Those this guys section, are yeah, this section is real tough. Oh, ooh, they drop weapons. I you do love the weapon drops, though, and the fact that they're bringing them back to infinite is cool. I, I like that. I can't take the tank any further, right? No, no you can't get it through that. the pillars. They're all pouring out of the middle. Ah, get in there. Never mind, I'm going back. Right, tank. What do I want? What do I want? <laughs> back to the safety of the flaming tank. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's so safe. At least it's nice and warm in there. I know. It's, it's, you know, the, the ring's a bit chewy. <laughs> oh, I just saw a plasma go over your shoulder. I'll be. They didn't get you. Nice. Who's vibrating? That's me. I'm on the gun. Friendly fire. All right, I'm going through. You can hold ceasefire. Krista, I don't know what you were shooting at, but that guy was just refusing to die. There was a red reticle. I didn't know where yeah. he was. I think it was a red elite. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was cool. All oh, the beautiful weapons. There it is. So delicious. Oh, there we go. That's better. We're going to be in close quarters. Oh, fudge. I dropped it out. Ah. Boom. Asset denial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Standard Halo tactic. Mm -hmm. You can't have it. No one can have it. Hello. We made it. Yeah, this is. Yeah, it is. It pretty is. I'm glad you guys didn't. This isn't the one with the uh, gazebos. Not the gazebos. The gondolas. The gondolas. No, I don't want to no. play that one. <laughs> that one was so hard to speed run for some reason. I had to do it like five times. What one's that called? Regret? Yes, that's the one where you yeah. can regret. Yeah. It's awful to speed yeah. run. Yeah. In order for a Halo game to be awesome, it has to have at least one gondola ride. No. No. <laughs> no, no one wants that. Did Halo 5 have one? No, see? That's why I was <laughs> Halo 4 did. Yep, that's why it's awesome. The Didact whispered sweet nothings when, right. when you went on your ride too. Made it even better. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, you're a piece I of shit. I hate you. <laughs> You're like, oh yes, oh yes, talk to me more. <laughs> Christine, you played a very different game to me. <laughs> what do you mean? You remember Halo 5 so differently, or Halo 4? Halo 4? Yeah. Halo 4. Get him, get him! Oh, uh, I Aww. forgot. <laughs> what's, uh, what's my, uh, what's my... And then you grenaded for <laughs> Okay, that, okay. I'm trying to figure out what my, uh, melee is. Changed oh. so much. It is such a nice place. I think this is all sniper dracos, I think. I know, it's just There is a drone spawn, I think if like there's like a cave. Yeah, cave. over there. Is this where Katana says, You always take me to such nice places? She just it did, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. I missed that. Alright. Yeah, how do you jackals like it when we're using beam rifles against? Well, yeah, it kind of is, but it is more or less. Say, just jump down. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, we're fine. Ooh, wait. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, BR baby. I do love this canyon as well. Where it's just hidden with loads of little nooks and crannies and different weapons and yeah. little drops come in. It's cool. It's great. Oh, I hate drones. Did you get You missed him. Chris Brown. I got his shields. Jeez. What a... <laughs> it's a rocket. <laughs> I know. I don't know what's wrong with my rocket. <laughs> I don't know if we've talked about it yet, but I, I do love the carbine. I 
half the space. Oh, like it's an so alternative good. to the BR. Oh, yeah. Which oh, yeah. Like... I like the speed. I think you can just wrap it off so quickly. A lot of yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, it's all oh, no. oh she's down. Down. I got it. I got yep. headshot. Oh, this is the king. Whoa, what the oh, fuck? Wow. The jackal Man. snipers have come. And they are not happy. Alright, I'm gonna... I've been quick clacked. We have not had to restart a, a mission yet. Yeah, just bag it up, bag it up, bag it up, bag it up. Uh... Wait, no, like, you mean, like, start from a checkpoint? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we did. Oh, no, yeah, we in... did it, uh... Assault in the control room. Yeah, that was... Oh, cool. yeah. that was David's fault. No, I don't remember that. <laughs> You're right, Colin. We haven't had to restart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we cut all of that stuff out. Oh, fuck me. Oh, wow. You're Jackal snipers are bad. I do remember Legendary, this mission. Right it's yes. it's this, bad on heroic. Yeah. Shit. There I go. I got him. You got him? Okay. <laughs> Ow, who the hell is shooting me now? Fucking Jackal. Terrible weapon spawn. It was always so much. Fire in the hole. Pretty cool. Give that uh, shield some work because the thing is recharging, <laughs> recharging. I know. <laughs> I'm making sure it works, you know. Right. Regret a shot, Krista. Oh, well done. Ew. We're cycling through these weapons, though. Fucking okay, hell. I know. I still got a BR and a SMG. Maybe Krista just ignore that sniper and keep her empty gun. What are you doing? I know. I'm trying to figure out <laughs> what I so want. <laughs> I wanted a uh, BR or a carbine, but I'm sure there was one. We don't there, get so... what we want. There's some drops up ahead anyway, I think as well. Oh, that's a look at this different... canyon. That's terrible. Ah! Mm, nice. Damn, they did some work. Shit. Now we have this whole section. Here's your BR. Boy, are they in for a big surprise? Are they? You can snipe. You can snipe some dudes here from really far away. It's pretty cool. Yep. On your left and right, Krista. There's a bunch of them. Um... Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy in... That guy too. Fuck you. Oof. Oh, Krista, you're dodging shots Damn. here. There he is. Oh. He's there. He's, oh, he's like, back. what the fuck he's is like, that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the All old right. graphics again. Switch back. Oh, everything just gets muddy. Yeah. <laughs> all the streaks. They all have white streaks. The draw is just so good. It is, actually, to be fair. I think we got it's some so honor nice. guards coming up here and down in here. I think that's the next room you're in, yeah. Uh, okay. Are they sleeping grunts? No, it's bits. Dun, dun, right. dun, dun. Some drone, the drones pop up here? The drones come out. Did you kill them already? No, I didn't see any drones. All right, get those plasma grenades out there, Chris. You got it. Watch yourself. Oh, on her guard. Those jewel-wielding psychopaths. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes my flashlight again. Oh, nice. It looks dark. Legit. <laughs> get him, Matt. Get him. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Their armor is Pin so good. Hints our movement. Oh, oh shit! Oh, whoa! Crap. Oh, whoa! Fuck! <laughs> that scared was the intense. shit out of me. That was hilarious. <laughs> God, I was I like, yay, was a, I, I have a sword. This dropping. guy's like, no, you don't have a nice sword. Nice work. <laughs> so that was... Man, the, uh, the diversity of that mission is pretty good. But then it's also the weird thing where you it kind of cuts and then um, you kind of feel like this mission and the next mission, you know, merge together, right? They're so, almost yeah. one in the same, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of want to keep playing.
let's get into our conversation. So we do, um, as I mentioned before at the top of the show, we do a gameplay. Uh, we talk about gameplay. We talk about level design, difficulty, and score s- storytelling. And then we give them a ranking. Uh, I guess we'll, I don't doubt we'll give anybody a one, but one to ten. And then we'll average the scores together to give the mission an overall score. So we'll start with gameplay as we always do. Um, Matt, why don't you take us through your thoughts on on the gameplay of this mission? I think the gameplay is superb. You get a lot of different weapons. A lot of you get a tank. You get a you do ghosts. You could do warthogs. Mm. Like the variety that this mission allows you to play with is actually pretty good. So I I would rank uh, gameplay pretty high. Yeah. For sure. How about you, Krista? I 100% agree. They give you so much fun stuff to work with. They do the weapon drops for the human weapons. Of course, there's covenant weapons everywhere. All of the vehicles, all the enemies, all the different environments. It's really good. So maybe yeah, like and nine. David. Yeah, I mean that's kind of what I'm thinking, David. From a, like a, uh, you know, watching standpoint, I had a lot of fun just watching them play, play this mission. Yeah. You know? And I didn't it feel is- like I needed to like. You know, some missions when you're watching, like, frustrating. But this one is just like, I just sat back and enjoyed it. It is. It's a fun ride because they're always progressing and moving forward. Do you know what I mean? Because your objective is literally to push through. And it's just mm-hmm. satisfying seeing how you do that. And the fact that they kind of, let's say, litter your way ahead of you with weapons for when you get there. That's really mm-hmm. satisfying. I like I like that. I like that design. Yeah. Um, Obviously, the stealth part of it feels kind of weird because there's all these enemies standing around and then like a drop here comes in, drops a bunch of guns and flies away and they're like, hmm, <laughs> right. what that's about. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think it's great. It's one of my favorite missions in, in Halo 2. Um, so I love yeah. it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it shows you how dug in the Covenant is already. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we're Spartans. We don't care. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll do what we want. <laughs> um, gameplay like that nine sounds like a good place to start on this yep. mission. Yeah, I, mean, I, agree. I don't know, that. like ten. We haven't given a ten gameplay, have we yet? I don't know if we have. Um, but this I think one... the jackal snipers, you know, one... well, yeah, but <laughs> remove a that's point, fold it in. I mean, though, you need a, some difficulty spikes here and there. I mean, could we give this a ten? For levels or for gameplay? Is for it? gameplay, yeah. I, I could lean that way simply because it has all of those weapons for you, all of those vehicles for you. It makes it a fun ride, even if it's a very simply designed kind of um, mission. Mm-hmm. But I, I do think from gameplay, it's fun. It's still fun to play. It's fun to watch. So, Colin, if you want to push me... Well, what 10? else would it need, I guess, to get to a 10? <laughs> you know? Like, what else are you throwing mm-hmm. here? A third faction, maybe? Maybe that's keeping it back? I think the simplicity of the no. two factions is good. They're the I most, like I mean, they're more, these are the most satisfying enemies to fight in Halo 2. Mm-hmm. They're the, the Covenant, you know what I mean? So, I don't sure. think there's. I don't think there's a negative I have for gameplay, though. So, like, I can't right. see why it wouldn't be. Like, I'm like, so I'm much trying variety, to think of so it from weapons, the other vehicles. perspective of, is there anything that, that brings it down? Right. Like Chris has said, just jack of snipers because this this mission on on legendary, well that's just two on legendary, it's but like two. yeah yeah two. I feel like jackal snipers is like a something you would talk about like as the CE pistol it's bad in all of Halo two, like there's no one point where jackal snipers are mm-hmm. like you know what I mean like it's a it's a flaw in how they're OP. Okay, Colin, you can I mean, push me to you a can 10. push us. I, let's just do a ten on this one. Let's just yeah. so push me. <laughs> all right we you gave this we gave delta halo a 10 and i've you know this mission, this is one of the missions that i actually don't recall like when you when we were playing through it was like oh yeah this is this mission so it's not always top yeah. of mind but watching it seeing how much fun you guys were having seeing the variety like it's, yeah it's there right mm-hmm. i get this confused with regret i kept thinking we were going under the uh we're doing the underwater elevator things yeah yeah mm-hmm. they just That's pair right. so well together right so let's talk about level design. This one's going to be high too. Like there's mm. all of the, you know, the aesthetics and the ruins and you're, you know, there's lots of ways around um, here and there. There's a couple pinch points where that you got to get out of the vehicles. Then, you know, you could scavenge for, um, you know, your weapons and things like that. But Krista, talk about your thoughts on the level design for, for this one. 
there's a lot of wide open spaces. There's a lot of nooks and crannies, especially in that like hilly area. We were talking about mm-hmm. how it's so cool that there's just so many different places to explore. I think it's a really well des- designed level. I like that like halfway through the mission, you go to that big building where you have to kind of work your way inside and to progress the mission. And I like that too. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the level starts off really well. I like the elements of the pelicans dropping and the marines coming out and... You know, you just kind of working your way through to the interior of Delta Halo. So, yeah, well, I think it's I think it's really really solid. Mm. Uh, Matt, anything to add? I think uh, your comments about how it could be like an ancient human or something other than Forerunner actually is really kind of intriguing, and I think mm-hmm. as it looks, I think the really cool thing about this level design is that you're you're moving through these massive structures and you're, you're obviously going through them with vehicles, but they're, they're massive. And like, yeah, there are tons of ramps and different, I love how the, the level um, is built so that, like you were saying, you could take different paths, uh, go up or down and stuff like that. So I think that's cool. I do like mm-hmm. the aesthetic of Delta Halo. So I think they knocked this one out of the park. So David, why isn't this a 10 also? Is there a reason? Oh, I boy. would think, uh, like, for as good as the level design is, it is actually simple. It is a straight line. Do you know what I mean? It, well, it they're looks all, that's good. Halo. And Halo's things. a straight line. Yeah, yeah, you're you're not wrong. You're not and sometimes wrong. you go back on that straight line. You go back. <laughs> <Right>. We <laughs> do, we do. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think there's probably better designed missions on our list. I think that may deserve a 10 over we this one. We gave Silent Cartographer a 10. So that's the only That's because it's the perfect mission, Colin, okay? <laughs> that's not that, okay? So, um, I guess, yeah. I mean, compare even... I know we're not doing comparisons. So that's, that's not the that Um Yeah. I don't I'll know say, why I'm hesitant to give it a 10. I'll say the only knock I'll say is that it's 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 very horizontal. Whereas, like, Silent Cartographer, you go, it's horizontal, and then you go down. It has a verticality to it, mm. which is kind of neat. Um, whereas this one is very... But you're but also traveling you across... Camp, you know, so. You're traveling across the ring to where Regret is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does it does it convey that well, I guess? Because well, like, the, so the whole guess... point of this mission is to get yeah. to the temple. It does. It feels like you're traveling deeper into a jungle, deeper into a section. You know, you start at a cliff, like kind of open face, and then you kind of get into these narrow spaces, and then you have a cool little kind of tank journey. Yeah, okay, come on. And so there's, there is a sense of verticality within the buildings and in that canyon. Yeah. I mean, they do have a lot of up and down kind of motion as well. It's not like a flat plane that we're dra- traveling across. So I would say is... it's definitely one of the best level designs in Hill 2. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I agree with that. Probably say that. Because My knock so against trouble. it would be that it does end abruptly. Um, to your point, like it yeah. feels like it just merges with the other one. Like, Why does it stop when you have this fight, this mm-hmm. cool fight with the uh, honor guards, and then it just kind of stops? It's kind of a Halo 2 quirk, though. Mm-hmm. Halo 2 likes to make their missions flow together pretty seamlessly. Mm-hmm. So that when we're like doing mission debriefs and stuff like that, it can be a little jarring because we are, it's very like, you know, it's stopping a story in the middle, but the yeah. point well, of this like story was to get thing, right? to the halfway point yeah. and then but the also, conclusion of the story is the next mission. They did that too, but like with hard cuts between the middle of John's story to Arbiter. I mean, they've done, they did that in the mm-hmm. campaign itself, so... I, mean, I think it's you... supposed to be like when you're reading a book and like you get to the a point in the chapter, chapter and the end. chapter just ends and then it concludes in the next chapter or cuts to a different character. I think that's the vibe they were trying to get specifically mm-hmm. in Halo Two. It does pull you forward into the next wanting to go to the next mission mm-hmm. straight Same. away. Yeah. Um yeah. I I guess yeah, from that car I guess I I wouldn't go higher than nine from this and I don't know if I could even tell you why, but something in my gut just says nine. it's not Nine's good. Okay, we'll do nine. <clears throat> um, okay, now difficulty. Um, Krista, you, I saw you die a couple times. Was it too much? <laughs> it's it just the ja- it's literally just the jackal snipers. Like they put mm-hmm. a lot of jackal snipers in this level. It's it's a it's a thing throughout the entire Halo Two experience. But I don't think I've died to jackal snipers more than. I don't think there's an enemy that I've died more to in Halo 2 than Jackal Snipers. Yeah. And that's just that's just Halo 2. I mean, 
Yeah. The it, final jungle point is frustrating. Um to the point of where, you know, I remember playing this on Legendary. Again, we're not playing on Legendary, but you probably need to consider that a bit. But it get this one almost gets a little too too tough there mm. for how like powerful you feel at the beginning, you know, running around, taking everybody out, you have all the weapons. Here then you get to that jungle spot and there's just like there's points in that cave where just like, uh, can I like I need mm. to to like I don't feel like I can't get to where I need to, to go. Yeah, but I, and mean, I think the rest of the mission's really good. Like it really mm-hmm. challenges you in a tank, which is hard to do. They keep throwing the ghosts at you and different enemies and stuff like that. I mean, they do challenge you in a positive way. It's mm-hmm. just the jackal snipers just become a little too much from time to time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Matt, how are you feeling? Are you feeling like eight zone? Are we in the eight zone? In the nine yeah, zone? Yeah, I felt. I think with Halo Two, the sh- I feel like your shields go down so much faster. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, it, it's and I feel like you last a little longer once your shields are down. But um, I felt pretty challenged with it. You know, I don't think I was like. But like I don't good think challenge, was, right? Yeah, like a good challenge. Like mm-hmm. you know, like you come across a red elite you want to make sure that you uh treat it with you know some caution just so it doesn't you know doesn't get you um and the vehicles like they held up right yeah you know they weren't i think they flame i think they flame in halo 2 a lot quicker before they're actually like ready to blow up like you have to lose a lot of stuff like (laughs) pieces have to be falling off Mm -hmm. um but no they were all off chris's (laughs) all of them were off that's a neat ass tank she was driving asset denial at the end um no i felt i felt like uh eight's good to be honest i don't think it was i think it was the perfect kind of difficulty it was challenging it wasn't easy but i didn't feel like oh my gosh i can't i can't get past this part okay any other thoughts or is eight feel like a good spot here yeah i'm good with an eight yeah okay nice Nice. All right, let's do a last category is storytelling. So we have that beautiful cutscene, and it carries through from, like I said, Metropolis. So we played Metropolis, and then we go do some Arbiter stuff, and then we come back to this mission. And there's a lot of lot of good storytelling, especially with the Blair cutscenes. And then there's a little bit sprinkled throughout the mission. Uh, but to Chris's point, the you know the story is we're we're traveling through the Halo and this jungle portion to get to mm-hmm. the Grand specific. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is one is probably the lowest score we'll give this mission. Yeah. Because I think the storytelling just happens with the cutscene, and then there's almost nothing in the mission. The mission is just mm. get to there. There's mm. no that I can remember, no real iconic dialogue. There's nothing overly interesting happens between the characters. I, Nothing's revealed or really told in the story that I can think of. I think mm-hmm. like I think Halo Two really just assumes that you played Halo One and you kind of already know what you're doing. And mm. so they just don't have anything, you know, meaningful but, going on during the mission. Like, there's not the anything 2, interesting. The, ga- the Halo 2 game is the explosion of Halo lore. Because it is. Because when you look at Halo 1, it yeah. doesn't have as much. But this game has lore coming out of its ears. And, mm-hmm. like, the Blur Code scene is fantastic. The drop pause, excellent. I love the intro. I love the mission. I love the reveal. It's all really kind of cool. And and then it that's kind of it. And then the, the next mission is where the story happens. Right. For what you're actually doing. Well, and like the reveal so, of this mission is just, hey, there's another Halo, which I think mm-hmm. everyone came yeah. into this game expecting anyway. So, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. the reveal really doesn't hit home, you know. We were talking about this mm-hmm. a little bit before the show as well. It's just like, oh, another Halo, yay! Mm-hmm. And so it's kind of just back to basics, honestly, with this mission. It's just like, oh, it's a Halo. We already know what to do. We already did this, mm-hmm. and then yeah. that's kind of the story. Okay, I think the 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 cutscene that starts the next mission is where you get a pretty nice piece of uh story is where cortana and chief really kind of find out that the covenant think it's like their holy mission Mm -hmm. to light the rings and so from that point chief finds out that it's not like oh let's stop the flood but for them it's like a religion so i think stop the ring from yeah set off yeah so i think it also gives the it gives the and i think it's hinted it's it's kind of hinted at with uh when the arbiter's talking with the prophets but here it's yeah they, they want to light this thing because it's their holy mission you know so i think the previous this story it like with all things with halo everything builds to those crescendos and it makes those crescendos more impactful but this this one right here 
I have to agree. It is it is lower, and it doesn't feel like that moment. Like when you're when you're like the the drop pod landing is cool, mm-hmm. but it I guess a, I guess the problem with Halo Two is like Chris is that a lot of the mystery is taken out of it because you've played Halo One, and so I don't think it has that like mm. what is this kind of ring mission, and it's more back. But to they basic. also ramp it up, you know, because like we played Halo from CE, and that is kind of more like oh a little bit of discovery. I mean, they're not going to do the same level of discovery on Halo, on the second sure. Halo, you know? So the second Halo is like, okay, here you go. Like, let's just go into the mission and here's all the action, right? But, like, mm. the, the thing is, like, Cortana doesn't even say, oh, this ring is almost identical to the ring you blew up before or something like that. Just mm. a little bit of stuff, like... Yeah, there's, there's nothing we, there, we, really. We obviously know this is, like, a carbon copy of Installation 04, but she doesn't really talk about it a little bit, like, oh, another ring, I wonder how many there are, or, like, you know, this ring is almost identical to the one you went on, and that's how we know mm-hmm. where to go. Just a mm. little bit of dialogue of her just um, kind of musing on what's happening, because, hey, we just found another Halo. That's a pretty big thing. She should be at least, like analyzing or something like that i think yeah. that would spice up the mission just a little bit did we not find out there's a seven in ce you find out there are seven rings at the very end when they activate the control room. They are, yeah and yeah. it shows you the models it, yeah you remember, oh, okay. remember when three. like all the yeah. rings Remote explode out activation? uh for right. the arc yeah. or was it yeah i think yeah i think it's halo 3 where you find out there's a whole bunch okay so are we i don't feel like i can give this a six can we no i think it would be like a seven or an eight i go i I I almost said six but uh, you can push me to seven if you want i'd say seven just because the the cutscene's really really good at the beginning yeah it's miranda's kind of growing as a character like this is what my dad found wow Mm -hmm. you know sergeant johnson and uh master chief have a little bit of a moment with banging on the side of the pod it's visually really cool there's yeah. there's a lot of characterization in the beginning cutscene, so it deserves a point for that. Cool. I, I do like that she says, "I don't care if I got clearance. Give me all the information." And Cortana's like, "Okay." Mm-hmm. Which I think is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Matt, yeah. Do you give it okay. a seven. Yeah, I'm good with a seven. Okay. All righty. So gameplay ten, level design nine, difficulty eight, and storytelling seven. We kind of went down yeah. the list. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you average those four together, you get it 8.5. I think that's good. That's, yeah. that's pretty good. Pretty mm-hmm. strong. Pretty strong. I feel like a lot of the missions that we play are kind of going to be in those. That well, they're game. all strong so, missions anyway. Yeah, we pick I mean, they're the all 20, strong. So, yeah. But <laughs> those percentages are going to help us, you know, drop them into a ranking and we then should, we're gonna have that fun discussion at the end. You should surprise everybody, Colin, and just throw in a really shit mission in the middle of this somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> right. Cortana. Just oh, oh, no. just it. Oh, this is one. Yeah, this is one point <laughs> two. Yeah. Oh no! I like just it. One of those Arbiter missions. Put in, put in one of the missions from uh, Halo Five, where it's just you walking around. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, yeah. what do you yeah. guys think of this mission? How do you like the gameplay? Zero. <laughs> There's no gameplay. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for our twenty for twenty coverage of Delta Halo from Halo Two. On the next episode, we'll be covering Uprising from Halo Two. Don't forget to post a, uh, post a comment, like the video, or subscribe. You can also support the show by visiting Podcast Evolved on Patreon. Until next time, evolve. Evolve. evolve.